Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a brief user requested video on how we can start making Cartesian products in our Python scripts. We'll look at a very brief example and I'll show you what tools we can use. Let's jump right in. First, what is a Cartesian product? A Cartesian product just takes a number of sets and returns every possible combination between those sets into a product set. So let's look at how we can do this programmatically. Here in our text editor, let's say that we have the example that we're running a coffee shop. Let's say that we have different types of flavors, milks, and then coffee. We'll create a list for each of these. So let's say coffee is equal to a list, and then we'll pass in the different types of coffee that we have available to us. So let's say that we're selling cappuccinos, we're selling lattes, and then we're also selling Americanos. And then let's say that we have options for the flavors as well. So we'll set this equal to another list, and we'll say we'll have a vanilla flavor, a hazelnut, and then also a mocha flavor. Next we'll drop down and say that we have three different kinds of milk as well. So let's say we can sell it as skim milk, 2%, and then we can also have the option for none. Now to do Cartesian products in Python very easily, we can jump back up to the top and import iter tools. This will give us all the tools that we need to do our Cartesian products. We'll drop back down and we'll let Python do all the work for us. So we can say for combination in editor tools dot product and then pass in each of the items that we want in our Cartesian product. So we'll pass in coffee, we'll pass in flavor, and we'll pass in milk. This is a for loop, so we need to end it with a colon, and then we'll print combination. We'll drop down and open a command prompt or a terminal. We'll type in Python 3, and then the name of my file is cp underscore ex dot py. When we execute, we see that we have our three-fold Cartesian product from our three list values. You're able to use this with any sets that you want, and these sets can be of any length. And that's pretty much it for this video. Python makes it very easy for us to start using Cartesian products. If you have your own request on what video I should do next, please let me know. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please let me know that too. Until next time.